Okay, so this is a quick hack. I just thought I'd document it. So this is a uh, DF player module, which is just an M <laughs> MP3 player module, which is like two bucks. Plays off SD card, and you can control it via UART, which is very handy. So I've got a UART there. Um, and you can get to, you hook up to speaker. It's got an amp and everything. And you can send it serial commands. And it plays real nice. Okay, so that's all well and good, right? But the uh, niggle with it is that you... Um, you can't, if you've got a CPU connected to it, you can't read anything off the SD card. It's only the module itself will read off the SD card. So I was like, huh, what can I do about this? And then I was like, well, it's only got a mono amplifier and the MP3s can be stereo. So maybe I can use the other channel to do something. All right, so I looked at the, uh, let's see, here we go. Here's the module, right. And you see it's got a speaker output, which is, this is a bridge tie load. So this is just one speaker mode mono. And then it's got DAC, LNR separately, right? And I was like, aha, that'll be handy. Um, so I looked at the, so basically I thought, well, okay, why not make a software modem, right? <laughs> Where you've got your CPU that you want to read data off the SD card. If you want to synchronize with the music, which I do, because I want to do sound to light, basically have the CPU, basically make an audio file that looks like this. So. On one channel, you've got the actual audio that you want. On the other channel, you've basically got a uh, an FSK data stream, like a modem, basically. So you put data, data on one and audio on the other. Um, and encode it as MP3. So you need, so you need a data track that's like quite low data rate that will that you can basically feed into an ADC and just re read the uh, pulse times or read the frequencies. It's FSK. Um, and uh, builds your ankle, basically. So I hooked it up, and then... But the thing is, it mixes... This module mixes both left and right together. Uh, which, obviously, you don't want to hear this, because it sounds horrible. It sounds like this. It's just not really what you want to hear. Whereas what you actually want to be hearing is this bit. Uh, well, obviously, if you hear them both at the same time, it kind of sucks. So an unmodified module mixes the left and right channels together, so you get a mixture of... and your music. Um, so I looked at the, uh, well, like you always do, you looked at the data sheet. And data sheet, here's the suggested output circuit. And of course, there's the, uh, here's the amp, and this is the DAC LNR. So obviously what they're doing is just mixing LNR together. And obviously these things are almost always just based off the data sheet. So we took a photo of the board, and here it is, basically. Here's, um, this is DAC LNR coming out. Uh, one of them goes through a VIA, but basically goes through a cap, resistor, and then it gets mixed here, and then there's another cap and resistor, and then it goes into the amp. So basically, if you yank this resistor off, then it goes pure mono, right? And so you can basically still get the DAC output, but you only hear one channel through the amplifier, which is what I wanted, because I wanted to separate the two, the ugly noise and the nice noise. Um, it turns out to be as you'd expect. You just yank the, yank the resistor off, and you get mono output. And lo and behold, if you look at, then look at the other channel on the scope, so now it's playing it's playing this, but you're not hearing the uh, noise. And then, lo and behold, on a scope, you got your, you got your data, um, which is kind of handy. So, and the nice thing is, of course, that the data is synchronized to the music. So it's a very easy to easy way to have a data channel that stores sound to light information, um, and uh, just feed it into. I'm using an STM8, so I'm just going to feed it into the ADC on that and measure the zero crossings and extract the data out and I will have I can put all sorts of things in there you can put the tune length you can put some sound to light information you can put anything you want that's basically synchronized with the mp3 uh, which is kind of handy really there you go boom